Get ready for the ultimate adrenaline rush, Meg 2. The Trench is really, really bad. Back again with another movie review, and yes, we are talking about The Meg 2. My name is Josh, thanks for checking out the channel, and I don't really know what to say. This is going to be a fairly short, fairly brief, and pretty succinct review because I honestly feel somewhat assaulted by this movie um just in the fact that i actually sat through and watched the whole movie which is weird because i actually really really enjoyed the first movie i seen the first movie in the theater had a good time with it i mean it was a gigantic shark movie where you've got some heroes that are trying to stop that and you know i mean there's a couple scenes in that one which are over the top of course but it knows what it is i mean the, the last couple scenes yeah. of the first movie you do okay the last couple scenes of the first movie were literally of like mini submarines fighting a Meg shark. So, you know, I mean, I know what I'm getting into when I see the Meg 2, I think. But the first movie also had, you know, fairly solid story, some kind of cool science behind it. I do believe it was based off the book. So I know there was lore there and there was some thought put behind it. And, you know, it was good fun. It was good graphics. Things looked cool. This was trash. Literally Almost everything about this, I have no idea what was even going on when they decided to make this movie. They were like, hey, you know what? We've got Jason Statham, which I'm a big Jason Statham fan. I appreciate him in a lot of movies. I like his athleticism, his fighting, all that stuff. It's really cool, his sense of humor. I think he's very funny in a lot of the movies. I mean, the first movies that I knew him from were Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels and Snatch, which weren't action movies per se. They were more about dialogue and you know wit and timing, and he's got that really well. But this one, they're like, well, we got him. We don't really have a story, but we got a lot of special effects. So we're going to make this like half a Jason Statham just action kung fu movie where he's an eco fighter or something like that. You know, he fights for the planet by sabotaging everything else. And it's there's just so many. That's not even the beginning. You know, if that was it, that's it's fine. 25,000 feet. But then, then you the actually trench. get to the trench and there's so many sub stories about different things going on. There's mining that's evil operation that's in the... They're, it's like they they just threw every idea they could possibly do on the board about how can we make a sequel to the Meg. Any ideas that you guys have, they threw them on that wall and they said, hey, you know what? These are kind of good. None of them are great, but they're kind of good. So we'll just do all of them. That'll make a great movie. It did not. This is not a good movie. This was actually painful to watch. I watched the Meg to watch gigantic sharks eat people be creepy, you know, general Jaws kind of stuff with some humor in there because, again, I know what it is. This one just went, I, I don't even know how to describe it. There's no actual plot to this. If anybody can tell you exactly what the plot is, then they're lying to you because they haven't watched the movie. They're just trying to read a tagline and tell you what it says because there's so much random stuff going on here. The saving grace I will say that I did enjoy about this movie is there are some some cool cgi there's some horrible cgi there's some literal scenes where i thought this was a sci-fi channel movie this is more poorly written than most of the sci-fi bad shark movies that they make for the sci-fi channel it's that good that's hard for me to say because i do like some of the sci-fi channel movies some of those are better than this one but there were a couple of scenes where they had some legitimately creepy images you know if it's the gigantic shark in the water but kind of away in the darkness or if you can see, I mean, if you've seen the trailer, you know that there's other animals that get out of the trench, and specifically like a gigantic tentacled one, which I'm a big fan of, and they showed a couple of really kind of creepy shots of that, which I was like, I got some potential for this, because that was relatively early on, never came to fruition. That was such trash, how they tried to... Ugh. There's just so much bad about this movie that is... I, I really, okay, I'm going to focus on the positive. You had... A couple of good scenes, not even scenes, but a couple of good screenshots that would make for some creepy, like short stories or a cool poster. Other than that, this was a hot trash fire, and I'm very glad I didn't go see it in the theater. I was actually upset. It passed me out in the theater. I didn't get a chance to see it before it left the theater. And now I'm very, very happy because I would have been very mad had I actually paid money to go see this movie in the theater. Man, that's hard to say because I like big shark movies and I like stupid shark movies and I like sci-fi channel movies. This was none of those. This was just, ugh. I don't know. Maybe I'm being a little too critical. I don't think so, but I'm also a little fired up about it. So let me know what you guys thought. If you've seen this one, if not, I don't recommend it. I mean, I think out of 10, this is going to get a 2.5 for me, maybe, maybe three. There were a couple, again, Jason Statham's always serviceable. He's who he is. You know, I mean, his acting is going to be what it is. He's playing his character just fine. 
a couple cool fight scenes, I guess, in the shark movie. But the special effects were not great most of the time. But there were a couple cool scenes. So I'm going to go with Saw 3. 3 out of 10. Do not watch. I mean, unless you really just want to see how bad it is. But make your own judgment. By all means, go ahead and do that one. But this is not one that I'm going to throw on in the background just to have on and watch. The first Meg, I will. I mean, it's not a great movie, but it's fun. This is not fun. This was painful. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you would. That'd be fantastic. And as always, you're awesome. Peace out.